on the Medical Watch this afternoon, thinking outside the box to save a life. Medical reporter Dina Baer shows us how local doctors saved a man from out of state who had virtually no chance for survival. A Kentucky man with stage four cancer was going downhill fast when a set of donor lungs became available. But it turns out those lungs were damaged, not suitable for transplant. Not giving up, Northwestern Medicine doctors decided to repair the lungs outside the body. Once healthy, surgeons breathed a sigh of relief before transplanting the organs and saving a life. And he said, this is it. Like, this is the end of the line and we're out of options. Keith Zafrin recalls the words his hometown doctor told him in 2022 after four years battling stage four lung cancer. But his wife had a dream. That's when Lori just said, you know, there's no way. We're not taking that as our truth. There will be another way. Enter the dream study at Northwestern Medicine. This felt like science fiction when we first heard about this. It didn't even seem real. It didn't seem possible. Chemotherapy could no longer keep the cancer at bay, and Keith could barely breathe through his diseased lungs. At Northwestern, doctors offered an idea. Use a set of damaged, donated lungs to cure Keith's disease and give him the ability to breathe again. The donor lungs had developed a lot of blood clots and they were not usable, they were not functioning very well. Thinking outside the box, the team treated the diseased lungs in a box, clearing the potentially deadly blood clots outside the body. We got the death sentence on August 2nd. One year later on August 2nd, uh, we got the call. Once the lungs were healthy, the first hurdle overcome, the next step, surgery, to place the newly repaired lungs into Keith's body. Once we establish uh, that, that quality and we basically repaired and fixed those lungs, we were able to transplant uh, those lungs uh, in Keith and they worked great. I think part of the gratitude and the overwhelm is realizing what these brilliant surgeons are doing here at Northwestern Medicine, the boundaries they're pushing, the new procedures that they're pioneering, the hope that they're giving people like me. So I think that uniqueness and that uh, novelty again um, was uh, something special for us and has demonstrated how far we can push our technologies uh, to help patients. So don't give up hope. Keith's cancer had not spread beyond his lungs, so with his new set, he's cancer-free, breathing well. New life following a death sentence, thanks to science. Back to you.